This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Well, aloha. How you doing? Gordo the Techs are here. Another thrilling and exciting episode of Hibachi Talk. So grab yourself a libation, pull up a chair and sit down and join us. I have Rick's the Fun Meister joining us today. How you doing, Gordo? Nice to see you, sir. And we have Deborah Tandle. Deborah and I worked a lot together um, um, back in my days at the Sitting and Counting of Honolulu. And yes. she was the uh, assistant chief of police for a number of years. We worked on a lot of high-tech stuff. And we're going to talk about you know your your career in HPD. Not a lot, but then what the heck do you do after 32 years uh, in HPD? And you had 32 years of, of helping us citizens here in Hawaii. We certainly appreciate all the hard work you've done in that. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. And we did some cool high-tech stuff when we were Yes, you helped, had to help me a lot on the high-tech <laughs> stuff. But it was good. It was fun. I'm a tech person. Yeah. It was fun. We, had, we yeah. did stuff. We, did, you know, we got the radio communication system in place, wireless yeah. enhanced 911. We got computers in the police cars and all the first We got uh, everybody on the same radio system. I mean... And you said, I don't know anything, and you helped enable all that happen. So, I mean, let's, you know, that there's, there was something to be said for that. Yeah, that was a lot of help. Yeah. So, yeah. so tell us a little bit about yourself. So where did you go to school? Where did you grow up? I grew up on Kauai. I went to Kauai High School, graduated from Kauai High School, went to Kauai Community College, and then I went to Chaminade University. Oh, that's a number three is going there. Yeah, it's a great school. And I graduated from there, and at 19, I joined the Honolulu Police Department as a cadet. Okay. And just stayed at, there for 30 years. At 19? Yeah. I graduated with a four-year degree from Chaminade, and then they hired me. Wow. So and you spent 32 great. years? 32 years and four months. <laughs> <laughs> four months were the longest four, four months. Four months, <laughs> six days, and two hours, <laughs> and 18 minutes. So, yeah. Wow. So you, you saw a lot then? Yes, a lot. It was a very enjoyable career, very challenging, yeah. stressful. When you first got in, were there a lot of women in no, getting I into the field? I think when I got in, there were 20, 19 or 20. Wow. Yeah. So that you were, you were groundbreaking when you were coming into that. Yes, but I wasn't one of the first of anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so but you weren't the first assistant chief? No. Really? Female? Nope. Yeah, oh, you weren't the first assistant chief? No, nope. I think oh. I was the third. The third. Oh, third. wow. That's pretty close to yeah. the beginning. Yeah. But I, I was very fortunate to have mentors and groundbreakers before me. Yeah. So That, that have done. That done, yeah. yeah. So it was nice to just follow their it, Is it a good career? Is Excellent it? career. Yeah. Very so rewarding. You would recommend it. Well, and there's everything you can get into, I would think. Yes. There's a, in the police, Honolulu Police Department, you can run the gam gamut from patrol to technology, technology, community. There's a lot of community service, mm -hmm. a lot of working Doing with the, the community. Budget. Yeah. <laughs> Doing the budget. A lot of meetings. <laughs> yeah, lots of Paperwork. meetings. Paperwork. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, very rewarding. Yeah, it, it must have been for you to do it for 30 plus years. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's enjoyed it very much. And we thank you for your service. It's thank, you. It's, it, um, thank you. And I thank you for, I certainly enjoyed working with you. It was, you were, you were just a delight. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't, we didn't always agree. No. But we, um, we, we just, we kept focusing on what, on the task at hand and what we had to get done. Right. So it was good. And it was always fun to watch you in your uniform down there in front of city council and, and Oh, uh, answering their questions. Yeah, yeah. And, and they never. How come they never cut your budget, but they always cut mine? Must be more important. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was your personality, <laughs> and you had a uniform on. So, and I tried to copy. Okay, so you you, you um, grew up here. You spent thirty plus years, and so on. This is all exciting, and then then you retire. Yes. Okay, and then what does someone do when they retire after a pretty exciting career in? <laughs> public safety. Yeah. It, it's funny because um, I always had a passion for Tupperware. <laughs> I just love Tupperware. It's just an awesome product, quality product. It helps make your life so much easier. Um, and people, a lot of people don't know, but I started selling Tupperware when I was a sergeant in Pearl City. <laughs> <laughs> I had a... <laughs> no, <laughs> I know, I can't picture that. I'm, but, I'm just... Yeah. I'm, I'm just <laughs> This is fascinating. I love it. <laughs> so when I, when I was a sergeant in Pro City, I had a daughter that was about nine, and I had twin boys. 
Okay. And sergeants and didn't get paid very well back then. And as you were saying, luckily, HPD paid really well. Yeah, they um, luckily they raised the pay quite substantially, but we didn't get paid well back there. And I had a Tupperware addiction. So between, <laughs> <laughs> between Tupperware addiction and having to help pay the bills, it was a great way to make extra money. So I have two really separate lives, work and my play life and church and play. Got to experience the Tupperware side of me and the work, not so much. Not so much. And but, it's, it's <laughs> yeah. Where else can you make money when you um, have parties? You go to somebody's house, you have a party, eat food, yeah, cook. Talk, cook. Yeah, yeah. Have so we're going to talk yeah. about some of this cool. You know, this is a tech show, so you know, I, I never <laughs> thought that Tupperware would be high tech. You're surprised? You, huh? I, yeah, you're, you're scared the heck out of me. I actually have a whole bag of tech things. That bring, yeah. is, there, um, um, is there a Tupperware with Bluetooth in it? So we can Not yet. <laughs> Maybe yet. next year. Next year. That would be an year, idea. You yeah. can take that back to the um, uh, to this can, convention. You can, yeah. you can talk and say, turn on my pressure cooker. Yeah. No. That'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, turn on my pressure. Yeah. Or if you can't find it, where's my Tupperware? Where's, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> put the so tracking. They, yeah, where's my lid? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember. So I, it's, uh, as a kid, I remember. You know, Tupperware must be, well, shoots. I mean, I remember Tupperware. I do. Okay, let's guess yeah. how many years? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, 100? No, not that much. Not that much? Okay. But wait. this year, Tupperware makes its 70th anniversary. 70th anniversary wow. of Tupperware. 70th, uh, yeah. So everything you're going to see with Tupperware this year says 70. The catalog says 70, 70 on it. 70 on it. Everything is Tupperware. Yeah. So is it is it as popular? Because there's so many other things now. I mean, you think about how the plastics industry has, you know, I go to Safeway or all the places, you know, Glad bags and all the different kinds of containers. There's just a million different types out there now. Is Tupperware still... Leading yeah. the charge? When you say that it's not your grandma's Tupperware anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> there, there's so much more now out there than just containers. Yeah. And the containers that are out there aren't quality containers. And Tupperware has quality pro products that have a lifetime warranty. So, yeah, so that's... Yeah. yeah. So, I should have a lifetime warranty. Yeah. I, mean, I don't come with a I lifetime warranty. I can tell you that warranty. none of the dishes I have at home have lifetime warranties. <laughs> right. I don't think so. And so if you, have a, if you have a container from 70 years ago and you're missing a lid or your lid is cracked, you give it to me and I'll help get you another one. For oh, really? Free. really? For free. Oh, I'll go to the Goodwill store and I'll pick up. People do go to the Goodwill <laughs> store and, no, and, yeah, really? and they give it to me. I'm like, okay, I'll replace it because you don't have to... Um, Show a, show a receipt or anything because that's the only thing we make is Tupperware. The stuff they call in the store Tupperware is not Tupperware. Oh, yeah. so, so that's an interesting, there's a business model for you, right? I'll stand by my product. They stand by their product. For 70 right? years. Plus. 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 I no did. receipts needed. No, nothing. Nothing. That's yeah. pretty cool. And if they don't make it any longer, because you can't make the same products for 70 years, right. obviously, they'll give you a credit or give you something close to it. Wow. Now, with the internet, so the advent of the internet and online purchasing and those kinds of things. So, you know, you, know, you said earlier, so where else can you go and have eat food and meet with friends and, and things like that? But has the um, business changed because of, uh, can I buy Tupperware online? Like the yep. yep, you can go to my website. Okay, so yeah, we got your <laughs> website. We'll put that up. We'll get, we'll get that my, up in a second. But my, we got uh, www. Tupperware my Tupperware com. Debbie Tandle, and you can see all the sale items that are on sale and just order from the comfort of your home. Right. We do, there's so many more, because of technology, there's so many more possibilities. You can have Facebook parties, you can have online demos, you can, uh, it's just endless possibilities. Or you can just sit at your home and type in a computer and buy all the Tupperware you want. And just and, and do it that yeah. way. Do it on my website, though. Yeah, yeah, do it on yours is better. Do it on my website. See, I mean, do you deliver it, or does they, it They mail it mail straight it to you. you. Mm -hmm. If you order it from your house and you want it mailed to your house, they'll mail it. Or you can go online and order stuff and ship it to your friend as a present. We do oh, that. Wow. Well. Yeah, or you can do a combination, so. It's funny. You say, it's like you said, it's not your grandmother's Tupperware. I still remember the Tupperware parties. Right. Well, we still have Tupperware parties. parties. And actually, that's where you get the majority of your sales from is at a Tupperware party because I can come to your house. I can make you beef stew in 30 minutes in the pressure cooker. Uh, that's the pressure cooker? This is the pressure cooker right here. So we can make beef stew in 30 minutes. We eat lunch, oh, we're dinner, talking story. Star, star, you can then you can have that. a libation while you're doing that too. 
Yeah, I yeah. should have looked that up, what a libation is. <laughs> <laughs> we, we should have started one at the beginning of the show. Oh, the show. Right, it would have been done already. Actually, this one we can make um, potato salad in 18 minutes. We could be done before the show is over. Wow. Hey. This is, so wait, I'm, I'm, so does this go in the microwave? They all go in the microwave. Oh, so, so that's a That's pressure. new. That's, that's yeah, pretty I cool. Mean, or at least a pressure yeah. cookery that you put in the microwave. Yep. Wow. That's pretty high tech. I think I so. Yeah. I think the grill is even more high tech. A gr grill. I can a grill. grill. I can, can grill. grill. Them. You don't have to go outside, set up. Although I heard that's a guy thing. Oh, Jesus. It wastes a ton. You have Sorry. to have can all I see the. Jesus? Well, this weighs a ton. Yeah. <coughs> it looks like it's metal. You're not supposed to put metal in it. I know. It looks like it. Everybody asks me, how does it work? Am I a high tech person? Yeah. It's magic. <laughs> <laughs> it's magic. You just stick it in and it grows it. But they have um, <clears throat> receptors in there that are insulated. Okay. I hope I'm saying it right. Okay. Then it, it comes with a book that explains all of that. Heats it up to 425 degrees. Wow. And grills it. You so can you grill can a nice put, steak in that. Yeah, I have. Wow. So you don't have to turn your whole grill on and... and uh, have all that smoke and flames and all. You can just throw the steak in here <laughs> you, and grill my it. My wife put a sweet potato on fire in the microwave a few weeks ago, so that oh, was yeah, not a good that's thing. That's not no. good. Yeah. No. So this is really good uh, grilled chicken breast. I was amazed. It's three minutes on each side, it's cooked. Done. Really? This is now. Okay, we're going to take away all the restaurant business. I mean, there's no reason to go to the restaurant. I mean, I wish, I wish people could feel the weight of this thing. This is yeah. This you know, this is a weapon. Oh, it's really, it's really well. It's you can also, um, <laughs> this is heavy. you make casseroles. There's two settings. So you can make a casserole or you can grill food. So you can make lasagna in about 15 minutes. This is definitely your, not really? your mom's Tupperware. Yeah. yeah. I need to go to your website and get a couple of these things for you Christmas. Couldn't put, <laughs> you couldn't put my mom's Tupperware yeah, so you see in the microwave. You're back in your day. You I didn't know. have you microwaves. Even put it there in. was no such thing in microwave back in <laughs> you your day. You couldn't even put it in the oven. <laughs> oh, no, we have a whole bunch that can go in the oven. So there's a, a casserole, so you can make lasagna, oh, yeah. and macaroni, and cheese. And then on this way, it goes all the way down, and it grills it. So it's really easy. You can make Spam, Portuguese sausage, just throw it in corned beef hash. Right. Just throw it in there, stick it in, microwave it. It comes out grilled. You don't have to stand there by the stove. Ooh, I need to uh, sneak a few of those home, not let my <laughs> missus know where they are when she comes home and finds I've been slaving over the, yeah. <laughs> slaving over the microwave all day. <laughs> Okay. Well, okay. So we got we've gone through halfway through the show. We still got a few more things. I want to talk about how you started a Tupperware business and how you keep this thing going from being a sergeant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pearl, Pearl Ridge, you said. Pearl City. Pearl City. Yeah. yeah. Pearl City. All right. Gordon the Tech's out here. Rick's the Funmeister. Deborah Tandle retired, but not so much retired that she's still right. busting on on Tupperware. We'll be back in a minute after we pay some bills. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. Match day is no ordinary day. The pitch, hallowed ground for players and supporters alike. Excitement builds. Game plans are made with responsibility in mind. Celebrations are underway. Ready for kickoff, MLS clubs and our supporters rise to the challenge. We make responsible decisions while we cheer on our heroes and toast their success. Elevate your match day experience. If you drink, never drive. Hello, I'm Helen Dora Hyden, the host of Voice of the Veteran, seen here live every Thursday afternoon at 1 p.m. on Think Tech Hawaii. As a fellow veteran and veterans advocate with over 23 years experience serving veterans, active duty, and family members, I hope to educate everyone on benefits and accessibility services by inviting professionals in the field to appear on the show. In addition, I hope to plan on inviting guest veterans to talk about their concerns and possibly offer solutions. As we navigate and work together through issues, we can all benefit. Please join me every Thursday at 1 p.m. for the Voice of the Veteran. Alo Aloha, Gordo the Texar. Welcome back to Ibachi Talk. I have Rick's the Fun Minister with me, Deborah oh. Tandle, retired. Um, number two in the HPD department? Four. Number four? four? Yep. I always thought you were number two. 
Actually, in my book, you were two deputies before, two before me. me. In yeah. my book, you were always number one. Oh, thank you. So, I appreciate and I, that. And, and now that you're retired, I don't have to suck up. So I no. can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I just because you know. And again, like I said, we had a great we had a great time working together, and so on. Yeah. And, and we did we did some stuff stuff that was great. And what we're talking about, like, so a lot of people get out of, of, of public safety and they go into. I see a lot of security guards down yeah. at, at uh, the airport. I see a lot of our old friends. I run into them all the time when I catch a new plane. They're like, what are you doing here? Right. I'm bored. They, I get, I, so the, 90 percent of saying I was bored. I had to do something. Right. And because they had the credentials and whatever, they were able to go down and start, you know, at least carry what their training was to this level. Now, what I find it fascinating with you is 32 years of, of your training in public safety. <laughs> and now you're Tupperware. in Tupperware. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tupperware. Yeah. But you can probably sell the safest Tupperware in the in the state. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So um, your family sells this. You 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 got your. Hey, my, I, I watch my grandsons. They're five years old and three years old. The five year old sells it at preschool. <laughs> so <laughs> grandma gives him the bro brochure and he takes it to the teacher and he tells me, Grandma, she wants to order something. I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay <yeah. laughs> Grandma will buy you a toy. Oh, you get commission. Yeah. So yeah. They're, oh, they're on okay. commission sales? Actually, they just got um, stencils for kids, so I got them that. Oh. Tupperware. Tupperware stencils? Yeah, the old, remember the old stencils? <laughs> they came out with them for a few weeks, so pretty neat. Do you remember Tupperware? Like, I remember Tupperware, but I don't remember Tupperware Where stencils. Oh, your parents my, didn't Yeah, treat my you. mom was holding back from me. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? She didn't want you to know. I never knew about Tupperware stencils either. Oh. So, so, um, so 70 years of Tupperware, you, of which you've been selling for about... 21. If I do them, how many? 21. 21, I thought you said 41 there. No, 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 21. So 21 years you've been, sell, you've been selling Tupperware. So what, what, what's been the most exciting thing about this stuff? Because it's, I mean, it's a fascinating business. I mean, you, you, it's, the technology's changed. What's been the thing that's, been, that's kept you doing it? Um, I love people. And I think that's why I got in the police department is I love people. I love helping people. But with the Tupperware, you meet so many neat people. They invite you to your house. You cook them dinner. You have fun. You party. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. It's um, when you show them what you can do. I make them potato salad in 18 minutes, <laughs> and they're amazed. And it helps them. Do you wear your uniform? No. <laughs> yeah, my t my you Tupperware uniform. Wear your no, it'd be Actually. great to see you in your yeah. you know, with the bling on top, the, walking the in with your Tupperware. I um. <laughs> have 21 different t-shirts <laughs> that have slogans on them like my husband said if I buy any more Tupperware he'll leave me I'll miss him <laughs> you know I have a lot of shirts like if you don't like Tupperware you probably won't like me and I'm okay with that so I have like 21 <laughs> shirts like that so, so is there, are there a lot of people in Hawaii that are still selling oh Tupperware? yeah definitely a really? lot of people yeah so why is it, I mean, I know about it because I keep in touch with you and you, you're, you're always, you're so excited about this stuff, but I still don't hear a lot about it. I think, um, I don't know why, because it's still networking and all right. that. Mm -hmm. For a while in Hawaii, we didn't have that many people selling Tupperware and mm -hmm. we still get told, they still sell Tupperware and then when the people find out, they're excited because they know what a quality product it is. Well, I, when I, again, when I saw you, Oh, well, we got to talk about your your famous your infamous room, um, but <laughs> <laughs> but you know, when I saw that you were you, you were selling Tupperware, I went, God, is Tupperware still around? Yeah, mm -hmm. better than ever. Better than ever. So better so ever. again, you, I mean, you're into this big time. Tell me, tell us about your special room that you have for your, oh, your, okay. your Tupperware. <laughs> yeah, I really you're love Tupperware. You know, <laughs> <laughs> well, we're retired, and mo most of our kids have left the house, so we have kind of a big house. And I love playing with my Tupperware. So I've made my family room into a Tupperware room. And when I do meal prep workshops or have a party, a bingo party, or do a demo or a YouTube video, right. um, I would have to upside down the whole living room or my husband would be sitting there watching while everybody was doing their meal <laughs> prep. So I told him, why don't I just make my Tupperware room? And he's like, well, so we, when we made our second floor, we roughed in. Look at this picture. <laughs> we, we roughed in a kitchen in our closet in the family room. So instead of having people walk through my living room and and through everything in our house, I've remodeled and made stairs outside, so you can walk from 
outside up into my Tupperware room and I have a kitchen there and we can do our meal prep and have a demo and a party and not bother anybody in the house. You know, when you were with HPD, you took everything to the extreme and you haven't changed. <laughs> it's it's not it's changed. It's but... haven't changed so much. Yeah. <laughs> and I live down in Waianae, so it's really hot, so we put split yeah. air in so that everybody's cool. Cool. Wow. Yeah. That's right, you do. You live up in Waianae. Did you grow up? You didn't grow up in Waianae because you grew up in Kauai. Right, but that's the closest I could get back to Kauai. <laughs> <laughs> the lifestyle the and lifestyle, the people right. and all. And geographically, too. Awesome. Yeah. Geographically. <laughs> Wow, so that's so um, fun. That's a so lot fun. of fun. She builds her own room. Yeah. Nice, though, yeah? Yeah. How long have you been married? 37 <laughs> years. <laughs> In the same house over 37, 37 years. years. Yeah. And, and, and he still... He still puts up with me. <laughs> yeah, he still does puts he up with me. Does he have a Tupperware t-shirt? Um, no, he doesn't have a Tupperware t-shirt. But he does help me a lot with oh, it. Oh, that's good. I mean, it'd be great if you got him to go out and have, you know, wear Tupperware shirts when he was out with you. That'd be I never terrific. thought about getting him a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> if he watches this show. I know. He's, he's going to be like, oh, my God. I'm gonna gonna get How dare you send me this? have to get him a t-shirt. I'll see him at the baseball game <laughs> <laughs> with a yeah. Ewing shirt on and embroidered on the other side yeah, of the seat. Tupperware. My wife sells Tupperware. <laughs> right? <laughs> I got to get that. My wife sells Those Tupperware. Tupperware. <laughs> Hit me up or yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny because one of the first shirts they came out with when I went back when I went back to having parties and all, it says, date me. And I was like, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> I walk around going, date me. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I don't know you want to do that in this day and age. Yeah. Um, so, do they still have Tupperware conventions? The or Jubilee, yeah. The Jubilee. I just it's came in, to my uh, in August. In August. So, <laughs> it's it's limited to only three thousand people. Oh, it's, lim it's limited, limited to, to only three thousand people. There's a waiting list, and Holy it's hard to moly. you have to qualify to go. You, well, you can't just go. You have to qualify to go and like uh, sales, pay. How many sales? You yeah, how much sales? Recruits and all. Uh, so 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 wow! I'm just I'm more intrigued by this every minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a multinational like this. It's oh, nation. Uh, so multinational. So it's, it's worldwide. So, so, yeah. so it's a worldwide. I noticed too. Look, hey, Go ahead. Ang Angus could maybe Angus could get it. I have a yeah. puppet, Scottish puppet. We could get him selling Tupperware. Oh, see? Yeah, a highlight. Yeah, I, like. hey, hey, I, I can make a haggis in eight minutes. <laughs> yeah. You fun. know what? If he could, if he could get there to the Jubilee, oh, that'd be funny. That's yeah. yeah. <laughs> but okay, so but you, it's, it's worldwide. But I also noticed, and you know, I looked, I was looking for labels, like where things mm. are made, and I always think things are made in China. No. No, and I, this one I know this and this is a this is a multifunction device if I've ever saw one. Yes. Um, look at the parts in here. This has got more parts than This one you can make potato salad in 18 minutes. It's my favorite because Kauai we know how to make potato salad. Yeah, you guys make great potato. Yeah. I love Kauai potato salad. You know what does it say? I don't have my glasses. Made in here. France. Oh yeah, see? See this this is it's, this is not this is not, you know, this is Yeah. This is so like it, cool so yeah, stuff. show you how it works. Okay, show me how it works. This part you can make pasta in. Okay. So you just stick it in with pasta and boil it, and in then the microwave. You, in the microwave. Yeah, microwave, and then you can that piece. Oh, this piece, okay. You can put it here, and then there's a cover, and you can make rice in the microwave. So that's. Ooh, so there's local style for your stem. Yeah. Recipe. So rice in the microwave. Yeah, I'm gonna move this. So yeah, microwave rice. I love it. My favorite, now most of the time I tell people don't buy one product just for one thing, but if this could only make potato salad, I would have bought it just for that. Cup and a half of macaroni on the bottom, right. water up to here. Right. You put this part, now this part is specially lined, feel how heavy it is? Oh Jesus, another one wastes a ton. Yeah, it's yep. specially lined, so microwaves don't hit it, hit the food. Oh. It only hits the water in the bottom. Oh. So it steams whatever food. This is high tech stuff. Yeah. yeah. See, you told me bring high tech stuff. Okay. So <laughs> you put two or three eggs in the bottom. Uh huh. So you have your macaroni. Okay. Your eggs. Okay. And then you cut up. I use uh, potatoes and sweet potatoes, white sweet potatoes. Yeah. You peel them and you cut them up like you're gonna eat them in the potato salad. Right. Throw it all in here. You put the special lid that's also shielded, and you stick it in 18 minutes. Your met potato salad is done. But your yes. potato salad can be warm. Well, you have to cool them off. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Some people eat hot potatoes. Hot, what is that? Hot potato salad? 
Yeah, I don't. So. I don't. You have to cool it off. But Can you, you put just it in the fridge afterwards. You just take mm -hmm. all the stuff out of here, dump it into a bowl, let it cool off, and then you can add whatever you like in your potato salad: crab, mayonnaise, all the stuff. Black olives. Like, oh, so that. it's so simple, That's and there's only pretty. one. Cool. Yeah, one can. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you don't have to put all kinds of. This is yeah, so you don't have to boil the macaroni and boil and the potatoes, boil the eggs. Yeah, yeah. Let it you cool off, peel off. You know what this is? This is environmentally um, uh, contributes to lowering greenhouse gases. Yeah, it's there's it's another right promo around. you could say when you're because of all that, all that yeah. electricity. I'm not burning all these uh, electricity. I'm not yeah. burning all the gasoline or the electric bill or whatever. Um, your like heat, all your the heco bill is going to go down, yeah. and it's environmentally um, sustainable. Yeah. There's so many That's things though point. because you can put vegetables and shrimp and fish mm. and oh. cook it all at one time, and you have your meal. Some people put orzo on the bottom. I like orzo. I never knew I liked it until I tried I, I, it. I put yeah. it in there. Mm -hmm. So put okay, it so in So what there. is this? What would this little puppy cost? One twenty-nine. Oh, that's not bad. But if you have a party, you can get it half price. Oh, if I have a party, oh. you get it half price. Oh. Yeah. Everything half price if I have a party? No, in certain items. Oh, I mean, everything in a catalog, but depending on your sales is how many things you can get half price. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's, it's still a fun kind of... Um, the way oh, you get the, to negotiating and all the things. Well, the that. rewards program, the host bonuses yeah. are awesome. We so get we to a, give away a lot of Tupperware. We have a party room in our condo. I wonder if I should do one for the condo. Yeah, <laughs> most, most of the people in our condo are my age. I call, it, I call the place Seizure World. Oh. <laughs> we're, we're all getting up there. They'd love a Tupperware party. Oh, see, they would all, be they a would lot all come fun. down to that room. They'd be coming down to that room because they'd go like, I've got a lid with a crack in it. Can you yeah. yeah. And it goes back 70 stuff, years. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, okay, so um, can we get, we've got, only got a minute left, so can we give, um, pop Deborah's website up? If not, we're just going to say what it is again. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was up there. It was up there? Oh, mm -hmm. terrific. WW. I was checking, make sure I was right. Make, no. Right there? Yeah. So, so we've got to check out your website, mytupperware.com forward slash Deborah Tandle. Oh, Debbie Tandle. Oh, Debbie, Debbie Tandle. Okay, D-E-B-B-I-E Tandle. -E -E we'll change that for when we do the final edit. And we'll Thank get you. that up there. And so we can. I'm going to go check out your. Um, All the stuff. The, the sales specials are awesome. Awesome. So uh, I always tell everybody, look for all the sales items first. Get what you want because we're all on a budget. Yeah. Get, except when Tupperware, I buy. Yeah, and this sounds like a Tupperware sales show, but it is. That which it has <laughs> been. But, but my my point is, it's not your grandmother's Tupperware anymore. This is it's this has gotten mm -hmm. this has yeah. gotten pretty high tech. And beyond my fat, beyond my fathoming. Yeah, <laughs> no kidding. Beyond my fathoming. And, you know, it's, it's, you know, public yeah. safety to environmental protection. That's the way you. That's Teach how you I are teaching you. people how to uh, feed their families inexpensively and healthy without yeah. going out for dinner every night. All right. So here we got it. See, www.my.tupperware.com forward slash Debbie Tan. Yeah, that's it. And we'll get you up there. All right, Debbie. Well, thank, thank you, you so much. And, thank and you. Thank you so much for your 30 plus years in public Thank safety. You. I Absolutely. mean, you, you've done a lot for this community and, um, and, and you can continue, continue to, to amaze me and have fun. <laughs> it's terrific. So it's great. Mr. Funmeister, it's always a pleasure having you. Thank you. On this the is show. a great one. This, this is a good one. Yeah. This is a good one. Lovely. Please watch the show whenever you can. It'll be up on uh, YouTube with, you know, this one will be up along with 140 plus others that are there. But this is probably the most exciting one we've had in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gosh. Different. This is, this is, different, definitely different. different. Okay, and like we say at the end of every show, remember I queued you up on this? Yep. One, two, three. How, How are you doing? doing?